health tracking with medical precision in a wearable on a budget done by one of the most popular Wear OS based smartwatch makers. Sounds great, but is there a catch? Let's inspect. Hey, welcome! Nice to meet you, I'm Michael and what we do here on the channel is to inspect fresh and cool tech and yes, yet another smartwatch to be reviewed today. This is by the way the watch face dedicated to RT, RT which is something like a companion, not really a smart companion, it's a health improvement companion integrated in this watch, a software developed by the company Cardi X. So in here is called RT and this watch is designed by Movoy, the model is called GTH Pro. This is what we are inspecting today. Now, it's, it's a very interesting device because it's targeted at a very specific niche of people. And um, I think its most serious advantage is the price. Because unlike services like Hoop, which are monthly paid, or Apple Watch, which costs kind of a fortune or possibly a Fitbit, this is the first sub hundred dollar device. And although not FDA certified, it can really help you to find out more about your heart's health. And of course, I had to try it out for two weeks, testing all the features and now sharing everything with you. Besides competing in this category about best value heart health wearable device, it also has most of the standard smartwatch features and definitely is an awesome addition to Mob Voice portfolio. I have to admit that the original GTH has been a little disappointing, at least to me. So now I have high hopes for all the features and especially about RT. So, launching at the attractive price of $99, Mobvoi GTH Pro should easily kick butt when it comes to health tracking. On the other hand, it may slightly fall behind about sport activities tracking due to the lack of GPS, but as just stated, top priorities here are in a different direction. My unit was one of the first out there, so I didn't have that many tutorials. The current batches should have a lot more documentation guiding you through the world of RT. You will get a lot of extra documentation from Mobvoice official page as well. And I really believe you should take these 20 minutes and get to know about the ecosystem, because it's very easy to miss something, and this something might happen to be the essence of Mobvoi GTH Pro indeed. Charging cable and the watch itself. This is what is inside the box in terms of hardware. Design looks good, mostly plastic built. Similar to the non-pro edition, but taking a closer look actually shows a dual sensor setup, with the second one being here at the side. Yes, you still have the sensors at the bottom, which are constantly in touch with your wrist skin while wearing it, and the side sensor, which is feeding RT with information about your health. I will now quickly cover the main technical specs and then we're gonna discuss how they relate to our needs and expectations. Display with a size of 1.55 inches, TFT type, 260mAh battery in sight, PPG sensor, accelerometer, SpO2 sensor, skin temperature sensor, respiration sensor, Bluetooth 5B LE for communication and interchangeable 20mm straps. As it seems, the focus really is on health tracking and most of these things are being done pretty well by the smartwatch. I do have my remarks about sleep tracking, it's not very accurate yet. Hopefully with the firmware update it's going to get improved, but the rest is pretty good. Steps counting and uh, other activities to be measured, fantastic. But in order to keep the shape not too bulky, I believe Mobvoi had to give up on certain components like GPS, speaker, microphone and uh, that sort of things, meaning that uh, it doesn't have that many smart features. And one more remark, it's more about the display, which, not that it's too bad, it's a TFT screen, well visible, unfortunately no ambient light sensor, meaning that you have to adjust the brightness manually. But we have to admit that AMOLED displays, a lot more vibrant, a lot more colorful and definitely they can be a lot brighter. So kind of a miss. The cool design of these watch faces and the user interface deserve a nice display to be shown on. And let's see about that user interface. It's a touch screen, so yes, yeah, swipes are your most powerful move alongside with tapping on the preferred sections. There's a main home button on the side. You're gonna see that navigation is similar to most smartwatches these days. Swipe up and there are the notifications. Swipe down for the quick toggles. Left and right guide you through the main cards, including RT. And these all are configurable from the smartphone app. The watch is powered by a lightweight, mob voice homegrown operating system. 
It is apparently not as feature-rich as Wear OS, quite the opposite, feels more like a fitness tracker, no way to install extra apps or respond to notifications and so on. But it pays off with spectacular battery endurance and quite clean interface. You're gonna find similar menus and functions to these available with Mi Band series, for instance. In that regard, I guess Mobvoi are more or less ready to offer a cheap good fitness tracker at some point. Among the top highlights, clearly, Tick Exercise is part of it, Mobvoi leverage their awesome implementation for Wear OS and bring it here, and it's great in terms of usefulness, with one big remark, if GPS accuracy is needed, you're gonna have to borrow GPS signal from your phone because a GPS chip is not present inside. Step counting is good, so is the HR tracking, so for all indoor-based exercises, it seems to be trustworthy. There is no microphone and speaker, which contributes to the good waterproof rating, so if you wonder whether GTH Pro is good for swimming, it is. I will now quickly go through the remaining thousand menus. Apparently, settings are rather poor on customizations, such are available from the Mobvoi smartphone app, though. There is still a long way to go in order to catch up with the amount of fine-tuning in other trackers. Basic features like setting up an alarm are only possible via the smartphone app. And now let us check on RT, because this is the essence. Open the app and immediately the side sensor goes on. You're gonna need to place your finger on top and keep it for 10 seconds so that it can analyze your stats and provide some information. If you keep using it on a regular basis, there's gonna be more and more details available and of course, more accurate estimations, predictions and recommendations about how to improve your heart's health. To me, it looks like a fun and free of charge way to improve your overall fitness and start following some basic ideas for living a healthier life. Obviously, just a smartwatch cannot heal or fix you, but can certainly become a tool and motivator to support you on your way to living and feeling better. There are some quite advanced parameters that it tracks, like true HR, which is HR tracking with higher precision than the measurement done on the wrist, Exercise capacity, which is based on measuring the blood flow, load on the heart, and even arterial age based on the data collected. It has been quite accurate about guessing my age, or at least looks like it thinks that my heart acts as a 30 to 35 year old person's heart. There are even more details about this in the smartphone app. You're gonna need to download the Mobvoi app from Google Play Store, the same app that we use for the rest of the Mobvoi wearables. So no, this watch is not FDA certified, but it happens to work really well. And I have the feeling Mobvoi have integrated something really great with, um, obviously, the assumption it's gonna get a lot better in time. What I totally dislike about RT though is, um, or are, some of the recommendations that it has. For instance, it tells me to stop eating red meat because it's supposed to be better for my health, but I can't give up on that. It's called Lukanka, by the way. Tastes great and I'm happy I didn't sign any papers and I'm really gonna follow what RT says. The rest of the smartphone app features are typical for wearables. You're gonna find some more watch faces, some more configuration options, and this is where your exercise summary is going to appear as well. Drawbacks. An impressive display, a little laggy compared to the competition, no speaker, no microphone, no GPS and Wi-Fi, these are the drawbacks topping my chart. To put it in simple words, this is not your average fitness tracker, it's a lot more than that, I can call it the heart health expert in the sub $100 niche because it's currently the most affordable device that doesn't go beyond $100 and doesn't require any additional subscriptions, and that's pretty cool. But in terms of smartness, it definitely has a lot to catch up with, um, especially compared to some other devices. So what do you think? Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Do you have any remarks? Did you like what you've seen in the video so far? Would be great to hear about your thoughts in the comment section below the video. And I'll definitely keep an eye on this technology and how it evolves in the future, because I'm sure there will be some very interesting updates. And thank you very much for being with me today. I'm Michael and it's been a great chance to present you the GTH Pro, the latest coming from Mobvoi. Uh, if you happen to have more questions, again, comment below and I'll make sure to respond to you as soon as I can. Enjoy your life, live healthy life and take good care of your heart. And I guess I'll see you very soon. Bye!